Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. My name is Tanaj Nikki. Today I'm doing a $25 clothing challenge. Now this is a little challenge I gave myself to find an entire outfit for under $25. And spoiler, I did it. If you want to see the items that I was able to get for under $25, keep on watching. And if you're into content like this, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And if you're subscribed, make sure you click the notification bell so you know if I have everything I have coming out here on YouTube. So let's get into it. So this $25 challenge is something I used to give myself periodically long, long, long before I had a YouTube channel. Uh, it was actually $20. I adjusted the other five because I just didn't think it was possible to include shoes in this course of trying to get something for under $20. But I was able to get a top, pants, shoes, and earrings for under $25. Now, if you're going to do this, of course, thrifting is an excellent option. Uh, this particular time, I did not thrift. These are all brand new items that I was able to get at discount stores. Now, a discount store is right after retail kind of leads its pit stop at other stores. Like the higher echelon of a discount store would be Marshalls or TJ Maxx. These I'm talking about are even sub discount stores from that. The main ones that I looked at this time around was mostly Simply 10. And Simply 10, it's the last pit stop of actual retail before you end up in donation spaces like Salvation Army or Goodwill. In this particular brand of store, everything is $10 and under. Because of inflation, that $10 is kind of fudged to like $12.50 a little bit, depending on what the item is. But for the most part, everything in there is approximately $10 and under. So of course, if everything is $10 and I'm looking at separate pieces, I'm running out of my $25 budget really quickly. But what I did was I looked in the clearance section of these items. And that's why I was pretty confident I was going to be able to keep my $25 budget for a full outfit, even getting separate pieces. So the first thing that caught my eye in the clearance section, these very, very bright, almost neon green pants. I love a pop of color and statement pants like this are so cool to have in your closet. If you check out my previous video, I showed you guys how to style statement pieces for work and this kind of applies to kind of everyday wear as well. The best way to showcase a really loud piece is to pair it with neutrals. I found these pants and they were only $5. They were on clearance at the $10 store, so they were literally half off at $5. They are in a size medium, and it's a pretty stretchy material, so I knew that I was going to be getting these with no issues. What I love about these is how high the waist is. This waist is super high. When I show you, it, it goes halfway up my back. <laughs> I enjoy such a high waist because it gives the options for crops to be layered seamlessly. And of course, you can also just wear them with really any kind of top, one that will layer over it or one that could be tucked in. Now, while I was walking around the store, I did see several other neutrals that kind of could have worked with this. Some black, a nude, but I settled on this black and white almost, I guess you could say like a Burberry striping. Um, it's plaid without color, so that, that's what this is. <laughs> I love it so much. Now this billowy top is in a size small. Because of the flowy cut and how it drapes and everything, I feel like if you are anywhere near a small or medium, this will fit you in the exact drapey flowy way that it's meant to. It actually layers upon itself and it has a clasping button. So you could wear this with like a tank underneath it. If you're wanting to spice this up like maybe a, a lacy kind of underpiece like a bodysuit or something like that. Or you can use the clasp and just kind of wear it like how I do, lay it over the green pants and it gives this kind of like chic, work adjacent, kind of brunchy vibe. Now these are light, bright, and airy colors so I feel like this is very much a summer outfit and so I felt like it would be appropriate to get a summer like shoe to go with it. This top was $8 so now I am at $13 spent for a top and pants. This left $12 for shoes. Now where I am right now, I do have a $10 shoe store and it's what it sounds like. The majority of the shoes in there are approximately $10. They do have boots and such that are 20 and some sneakers that are 20 and 40. You know, just depends on the shoe, but the baseline of the majority of the shoes in there are approximately $10. So that's where I headed to. Now they actually did have some green shoes that match almost perfectly to these pants. And when I tell you I was this close, I was that close, okay? That close to getting them. But I did see these white beauties. These are some toe thong sandals that have like invisible pexy support and has a white heel. So this is kind of off-white 
and it has snake skin type texture on it. So it's very visually interesting, but it is a very basic white shoe that can kind of go with anything that has white accents or you just want to have a white-ish shoe to go with your outfit. I didn't have any white sandals, so I thought this would be a great way to fill a void in my shoe wardrobe and also fulfill the challenge here. These shoes were $10, so now I am at the grand total of $23 for this challenge. These shoes do fit quite comfortably. They are in a seven and a half and the brand is so me. I couldn't be happier for the price and the quality. And I feel like these will be my wardrobe for a good bit of my time. I'll be able to pair these with many other items in the future and it looked fantastic with this particular outfit. So since I had a grand total of $2 left, I was thinking, oh my goodness, would I be able to sneak in an accessory here? And so with $2, I went to the Dollar Tree and saw these these are the cutest thing these are a wired butterfly earring that has pearls in the center as, as the base of the butterfly i'm a june baby so i absolutely love pearls i have a great affinity to them and i absolutely love butterflies so this was a win-win-win for me i absolutely think they are adorable and i love how weightless they are of course i'm being a dollar 25 this is definitely costume jewelry and honestly i've never seen anything like this as a dollar store i think i just got lucky when i was in there and i saw these um and it just kind of went with my challenge but it was so cool to see these really cute earrings that i was able to pick up for just a dollar 25 and so it skimmed right under my 25 dollars budget so i was able to get earrings a top pants and shoes for under $25. All right guys, that was my little $25 challenge that I gave myself. I think this outfit is super cute. I love doing little things like this where you don't feel like you're spending a ton of money, but you're able to add to your wardrobe. I try to always add things that are dimensionally interesting and things that I'll actually value in my wardrobe and won't be giving away in, in two seasons because I'm over it. So it's very end of summer appropriate. I'll definitely get my opportunity to sport this outfit as soon as possible before all the Cool fall tones roll in. If you enjoy content like this, let me know. I have plenty of other little challenges that I could continue to do like this. Also, if you enjoyed today's content, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you're subscribing, make sure you click the notification bell so you notify of everything I have coming out here on YouTube. Follow me on social media. I'm at Tanaj Nikki. That's on Pinterest, Instagram, and TikTok. Thank you guys so much for joining me today, and I will see you all on the next one. Bye.